power altar. What is the deal here? Things obscured behind screens? Five count door? Another one of these. Give me a sec. Um... suspicious on this one. Uh, we're making a new thingy. Okay, so this is Valhalla. noting where things are for this. So, this is starting... There's a family of, uh... There's a family of cryptic clues that I've come across. See if I can track down the others really quickly. Uh... I read them for stream. This one's from Shrine of the Cross Giants. We've got... So we already know that Brahma ties to the colors. Somehow. Brahma created the world, he sealed the, sealed the light of creation from its origin in a golden egg. All was created from the colors of the light emanating from that egg. The light of the creator you deign to speak of will be unleashed. So, okay. Egg, colors. Cool. But then that begs the question, because it's La Mulana. Well, two, but... It is a La Mulana game. It's all cool if we have some cool flavorful thing going on with respect to, you know, di different people being- or different deities being different colors. But the question is, what do you do with it? What do you do with it? So... Uh, we are gonna switch over to the, the... the magical... notepad in a minute, once I gather... these things. And once I find one note sheet. I wrote down part of this. I have notes everywhere. There we go. So. Where'd it go? And there's another thing. Water pot, beta specs. What about the units? Oh, yeah. Cool. about to switch over. Get my marker. Get my marker out. 
not losing the pen this time. Okay. So. The Kamandalu water pot is tolerance. It is the vessel which will tolerate any battle that provokes chaos. So. In terms of colors. Yeah, the lighting quality is not as good on this as I would like. In terms of colors. Um. Ymir is yellow. Um, let's see if I can write this down. Uh, this in tight is red. I know I can pronounce it if I parse through it, but I don't feel like doing so at the moment. Um, Tum, Green, Abzu, Blue, and Chaos is purple. Toilet bowl is dismissal. It is the throne which represents relief and finishing novel. <laughs> so, so we have these. Now, finding. So, in response to the question, I'm gonna put little dividers in here. So, question what is creation? Um. Rama asked Chaos, what is creation? Chaos responded only by existing. Creation is simply floating in the purple darkness. So we're gonna grab the terms, uh, well, Chaos. Darkness. So... I'm gonna search directly for Brahma stuff. I just remembered chaoses. There we go. Brahma asked Odin, what is creation? Odin responded that all was birthed from the remains of the primeval giant Ymir. The glimmer of that which is birthed from death is creation. So we're going to take the ideas of, uh, say, Earth, Death, I'm get, I'm going somewhere with this. Uh, we're also going to note that, uh, we're going to note that, uh, Brahma actually asked, uh, Odin. So, birth, death, uh, glimmer is an odd word in this sense, so I'm gonna grab that. That looks like gummer, but it's glimmer, I swear. Okay, any others? No, of course not. So we still have some that need to be filled in. So Ymir, from, do, do I have any of these saved? Because that'd be... Damn convenient. No. Of course not. Why would I? So. 
Abzu, I am familiar with originally, not I'm familiar with originally not because of uh, this game or because of mythology, but because of the game Abzu. He's in the Wall of Ancient Chaos, so uh, we're going to come back to the Power Altar in a couple minutes. <laughs> That's where we're going with this. I need to check on things. Um. Oh yeah, sorry, This the second piece of this. Um, there's a set of three tablets that I've found thus far. So we have the Kamandalu water pot. With keywords battle and chaos. Aw, no problem, Denopian. You do what you need to do, and thank you. <laughs> Magus, I love that. An arrow may have your name on it, but a fireball is addressed to whom this may concern. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kamandalu Water Pot. Battle and Chaos are the keywords. Aww! No problem. Do what you need to do, Air Caves. So, we have this. We have. And these stick out to me. It's kind of like the, the virtue is counted in a manner akin to a number of ox hooves. It just. It's a weird, non-sequitur-feeling tablet. Now, it's the sort of thing that once you find the context in which you're supposed to apply it, it's not going to be a non-sequitur. But in the interim, until you have the pieces together, it feels really non-sequitur-ish. That's a word, I swear. So, we have Vera's texts. Constitute belief system. One belief is that when we reach death, we will return to water. These are each tied to a pair of terms. There are as many mala prayer beads. As the as worldly desires. That that's a funny typo. Uh, I, I have the typo breads. Beads weave together those whose desires drive them to fight tirelessly, even after their lives are exhausted. So, I still don't know how to apply this, but basically, you know, in, in, well, think back to Llama 1 and the Mausoleum of the Giants. The Mausoleum of the Giants, it was not enough to simply know which giant was which. By the way, everyone was Zebu. But it was not enough to just know who, because there were multiple puzzles that dealt with you know, which giant was which. So recognizing this, uh, yeah, you had to know Rebu, you had to know um, Sackett, you had to know you had to know that Miguelo was left-handed, blanking on the one. Fudo, you had to know. So, or at least if you wanted to get all the things. You know, get all the health, get all the shiny shit, you know, beat a boss. Little things. I mean, theoretically you could brute force it, but realistically, you needed to figure out who was who. So, we have to figure out who's who in that case. Here, we're sitting here going, okay, we have colors and deities. What the hell do we do with this? Like, sure, it's nice if we have pretty things. I don't even know if this is all of them. These are just the five that I have. Um, like, I... It kind of feels like there should be an orange kicking around somewhere, but I don't know, and I'll rewrite the damn sheet when we get there. So, now we're sitting here and going... 
So, so I only have two of their answers as to what creation is. But we can surmise some about the others, I think. Especially because we're gonna loop on over to uh well, Valhalla again. Um because I need to get into the corridor of blood a sec. Um Where am I heading? Where am I heading? Ancient Chaos. Uh come on. Uh, I need to remember where. Uh, where's my roadmap? Still working on exactly which you know, point is which. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is it? There we go. Um, I need ancient chaos, which is going to be not there. It's going to be there. Because if you read Ymir, if you read Ymir in uh, the uh, Icefire Treetop, he's got a death. So... Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to see how far I can take this, con this line of reasoning and conjecture. We're going to be running around and checking this out, because I don't want to go far, too far out on a limb without having a really nice, solid basis on some of the, uh, conclusions. Or, no, wrong thing. Oh. Actually, hold up. map in the underworld? I'm gonna make note of this one because uh, this is one that I forgot exists, I think. Or it wasn't here, I don't know. Into chaos. Excuse me. Uh, Music here is awesome. This is a first child. My keyboard is covered. Okay, so... Blonde of four eyed white. I know that name, why? Uh, anywho. Abzu. There's a striking resemblance to the primeval state of existence in Sumerian mythology. Abzu is thought to be the freshwater sea within chaos. Chaos is already attributed. So we're gonna go with, uh, possible. This is gonna be, uh, the conjecture column. Just so that we don't mix up what is firm backed assertions and uh, Kitty going out on a limb. I, I still remember my numbers problems. So if we're gonna take this as being C by extension water, and I'm gonna put. I don't think it's going to be, because it's already... I don't think they'd overload that term. Oh, sorry, that's off screen. <laughs> Chaos. Uh, but that's a, like, tertiary possible... I'm trying to figure it... I wrote slightly too large to be able to fit this all happily. <laughs> In screen. Good, good, good job, Kitty. So... Uh, do I have space? Of course I don't. Uh, hold up. We're gonna try and make some space here, just so that I don't stoop. Uh, delete you. Mm -hmm. 
gonna delete these guys, even though their stuff is fantastic. The dwarves home. Oh, it was the anchor. Right? Yeah. Okay, so wars, order of blood, dissonance, the lap. Uh, gonna delete this. Hopefully, this is enough space for now. Abzu or Ab Abzu mural. So now we're gonna go. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm doing the tour to deities. Uh, ice fire treetop. And the icy portion is where Ymir is. This is not the easiest way for me to navigate to him, but that's just because I'm silly. Uh, okay. Oh, whoops. Well, that worked. Uh, hey, Ymir. Stone statue thought to be of Ymir, the Norse god mythology proto being. The myths tell of how he was defeated by his own children, how the world came to be from his dissected body parts, and how dwarves corresponding to the four cardinal points held his skull aloft, creating the sky. We're just gonna go with him mostly being death, I think. Uh, so what else? God, I have to remember where everyone is. Mausoleum? There's a striking resemblance to the god of creation. It, these are all creation. Okay. Creation deity, self begotten from primeval waters, or creating other. I don't know what he is. Because if we're gonna take that Abzu is sea and water, and because of some of the other stuff that I'm aware of, in terms of like just Abzu and the tie to a game that's all about being underwater, I'm gonna go with him being the damn sea or water reference. Save that. He's green. And then other one is in Takamagahara Shrine. I hope I remember correctly. Yep, that's him. There's a striking resemblance to one of the key Kodomatsu ja gods of Japanese mythology. He's creation myth. That to have been the first of the Kodomatsu race. I don't know. I could just be... I don't know what these two are. Amen and a tum. I don't know. 
Abzu I can make a good conjecture about. There's one more to go look at, just so that I have it saved. Because if we're going to be dealing with these buggers... I don't even know if I can get up there right now. Oh, and yes, I do have an idea for how to note the uh, boundaries between places in uh, Heaven's Labyrinth. Because they change according to which position the Celestial Disk is in. I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to use color-coded transitions. Which is going to suck. Yeah, I don't know. Because see, here's the thing. Battle, chaos, death, water, fight. Um, is it lives or lives? <laughs> uh, lives. Ties to chaos. Ties to Ymir. Ties to Abzu. The other three... I don't know yet. Like, it's possible that this one ties to Ymir, but... I don't know. There's missing pieces. I would assume that we're gonna have three tablets somewhere that are gonna go on, you know, what, what these guys answer to what his creation is. And from that, we can glean some more info, and that's even without necessarily coming up with more of these. We still have the question of what the fuck we do with this information. You know, well, what do we do with these conjectures? How do we... How do we go from knowing something to implementing it? And the answer is, I don't know. Maybe we should just go talk to the guy who started it all. Go find Brahma. Brahma. B R A K Brahma. Blah 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 blah. I just defaulted going here.